Hi there, it's Jason Chi, sales representative with the Price Real Estate team at Keller Williams Lifestyles Realty here in London. We'll do a little bit of an update on the market, kind of to end winter, early spring, however you want to look at it right now, or in the March break. We had a little bit of slowdown in some showings recently. I think that had to do with March break and with a little bit of a cold snap that we had leading into it. They did say, however, that this is the busiest travel weekend that we've seen since uh, COVID hit. So that's a good thing. I think a lot of people needed to get away. I think I need to get away. We all need to get back to some sort of uh, normal for us. It'll probably take a little while though. We're not expecting the market to change much in London. It'll stay busy. It has been busy. Something you've been hearing about is the lack of inventory. And th that is the case, but I think we need to put a little bit of a spin on it. If you look at the number of sales that have been happening in and around the area, this isn't just London. This is Southwestern Ontario. This is Ontario. There are lots of sales happening. And in order for sales to happen, there have to be listings. If we look at historically the number of listings that we have or had over the last year and what we've had in years before we saw this acceleration, so back 2014, 2015, we are down a little bit. But in order to set sales records, you still need to have a lot of listed properties. What we're seeing change right now is it's the velocity of sales. Back then, it was nice and balanced. You had the opportunity, let's say we started a search for you today. You had the opportunity to look at a house maybe twice, put in an offer, negotiate, and there was some time there. There was a you know 45 to 60 days on market. And right now we're seeing the time on market is just so low. It's that seven to 10 days. It's the velocity that the sales are happening. You know, I could start a, a search for somebody today and there might only be a couple of properties, if any, that suit their needs. And what happens is as something comes on the market, you have to react immediately and get out and see it. It just speeds things up. So I think we just need to, to realize there is inventory. It's just not all at one time. You're not getting a bulk of properties to look at. The other thing that we're seeing too is some, some properties are starting to sit on the market a little bit. And I think what you have to pay attention to is the difference between a marketing price and a listing price. If we look back again, five, six years, people would put a property on the market at around the price they thought it was going to sell at. And you kind of knew that. And over the last four years, let's say, what we've seen is more of a marketing price get put on properties. And what I mean by that is, let's say we think a house is going to sell for $800,000. Instead of pricing it for $799 or, or $800 or $810 in and around there, what you'll see is someone price it at $650,000 to get a lot of eyes on it and a lot of interest in it, knowing that by the amount of interest that's in it, you're going to see the sale price get up to where it's, it's going to be. Well, I think what's happening right now is if you list a property close to that market or to that end price you think it's going to sell for, for that market value price, people have it in their mind when they see it. If you're expecting 800 and you list it for 799, they just automatically look at it and go, mm, I'm not going to pay 950 for that. And they move on to the next. So you kind of have to be careful on that list side, what you're doing with that pricing and, and make sure you're doing the right thing. Hopefully that all made sense to you. If it doesn't, feel free to reach out. We, we can probably clear that up for you. If you have any other questions as well about the market, please reach out to us at the Price Real Estate Team, 519-663-9411 or info at pricerealestateteam.com.